Hi. So today we're going to talk about week two in The Artist Way by Julia Cameron here and going over the tasks that I did for this week two assignment. First of all, I did a shorter video for task one because it was kind of lengthy and it basically take away from all of the task one is that I now write out the basic principles and affirmations in my morning pages. Plus I say them two other times throughout the day, midday and then evening or when I remember or when I have the opportunity, which by the way, I am creating this as an opportunity. So let me read the basic principles again. When we open ourselves to exploring our creativity, we ourselves are opening to the divine. As we open our creative channel to the creator, many gentle but powerful changes are to be expected. And then on the back of that, I have, I am safe to be creative. So I'm writing this every day in my morning journal. Basic principle. Creativity is the natural order of life. Life is pure energy pure creative energy. There is an underlining, indwelling creative force infusing all of life, including us. And I am safe to be creative. When we open ourselves to our creativity, we open ourselves to the creator's creativity within us and our lives. We ourselves are creations. And we, in turn, are meant to continue creativity, to be creative ourselves. And I'm safe to be creative. And creativity is the divine's gift to us. Using our creativity is our gift back to the divine. The refusal to be creative is self-will. And it is counter to our true self. And I am all about trying to connect to my authentic self. So... That's what I'm doing now because of task one, writing these, writing it once and then saying them twice, if not even more throughout the day. So yay me for doing that. Okay, <laughs> now to the tasks that I want to talk about. Oh, but before I talk about that, guess what? Gotta subscribe, right? The more subscribers I get, the closer I am to my manifestation of my dreams. We all have to help and support each other. So number two, they want us to identify where our time goes and list five major activities that we did during the week and what the time was. You know, I must say it was actually a relief <laughs> to do this one because I really feel like there was a good balance-ish, mostly. Okay, so let me share. Um, let's see. So a lot of my time went to sleep that this past week because I had been really tired. So I've been actually going to bed. Yay me, right? So, but when you do that, you're also losing some hours that you would have done for other stuff. But the whole thing is though, I don't feel like I'm rushed or unbalanced. It's really weird. So I went to sleep when my body was tired. Um, but I, my time also went to work, right? A good chunk of my days is work, which I love and I enjoy and I feel like I thrive and I feel good in. So I don't feel depleted or, you know, kind of one-sided on that either. Um, the next one, my time went to self-care. I have no guilt or shame about that. I think I spend a good amount. If not, I could even do more self-care to be quite honest. So I think that was huge though. And I still feel pretty balanced. Um, and then I, what else did I do? Oh, and visiting friends. I actually did that this week. I visited some really good friends, good people that I want in my life. I feel connected. I'm, you know, I'm reaching out to people. I feel good about that. Um, oh, and I spent a lot of time driving because I pick up my son from his job and I, you know, it's about an hour and a half that I am gone driving. So yeah, I spend a lot of time doing that, but that's first thing in the morning. And then that's when I feel so good because I have the opportunity to listen to the podcasts. Like really, 
Where else would I? <laughs> right? So I listen to the podcast on my way there. And then I also get to listen it with my son on the way back. And we talk about it. And he's starting to learn and experience all this at a very young age. I think it's great. So again, I don't see it as wasted time. And I feel pretty balanced. So for task two, like they really wanted us to look at where our time went. And then look at, you know, the should have. You know, and I feel like I had a really pretty good mix. I don't feel like I have a shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? Um, I feel really supported by my fun, my friend group. Um, it's just been a really good week and I feel pretty balanced is what I got here out of that task. So, yay. <laughs> um, okay, so the next task. Oh, right. So then she also wanted us to talk about just really bringing up like people in your life and being people who aren't healthy and helpful and supportive and then you know people who are and how to identify that i'm not really finding that i don't have people in my life who are supportive or who are putting me down or sending me down energy or any of that kind of stuff and if maybe there are maybe a couple people where i know mental note not to talk about that but I don't feel like I'm not being supported anywhere. I don't feel like I'm being held down anywhere. So I feel pretty good about that. And she wanted you to write stuff about things to talk about or share and then the people connected to all that. And mine's pretty, pretty good. Like I feel really good right now about the people in my life. So yay me to that one. This is turning out to be like a pretty good week. <laughs> so number three, then she wanted us to uh, list the things that you enjoy doing. And then ask yourself, when's the last time you did these things? So you added 20 of these. And I did things anywhere from baking, which I did just a couple weeks ago, walking at the river, which I had done that day when I wrote this. Um, I really love fires at the river. I do. And I haven't had one for a very long time for various different reasons. So yeah, maybe this year it can happen. Um, laying on the grass, you know, watching the clouds or the stars I haven't done that this year but again weather and when it gets warmer I will be doing that again um going on adventures going to a comedy club you know just like things that I love to do do hanging out with my kids traveling I haven't traveled for a couple years in my defense COVID right and then now we're where we're at now so I don't know but I can change that I'm working on something um going to like a the opera or a play, so a theater production. Again, I haven't done that for about a year or so. Um, spell casting and conjuring. These are things that I love and enjoy doing. I just did it like the other day, so, you know. And then gardening, of course, last year, which, of course, I will do in the next couple months. So again, I feel like, aside from a couple things that I listed here that I hadn't done for a while, I feel like I'm doing things that I enjoy. So... Yay, me again. Um, number four. So then they said from 20 things list, right, that we made, what are two things that I could have avoided that could be in this week's goals? Oh, so things that I did not do that I enjoy. Could it be part of this week's goals? Because you had to do a goal this week, which I'll get to after. Um, and then so what I had said, well, I thought I was already doing a lot of the stuff. But, you know, I do have some goals that I had and I want to take another course and I wanted to look into becoming a certified laughing yoga instructor. Seriously, laugh about it because this is what I'm going to do. Oh, we're going to have so much fun once I'm certified and not in the mental hospital. Oh my God, that's going to be so awesome. Anyway, um, so I'm all good about that. But one thing that she said, and I highlighted it here and here, but one thing that she said that it would take away, okay? So if any of my ramblings today and the tasks that I had to do for week two assignments, this is what the takeaway is. Look for windows of time just for you and use them to do small creative acts. Stop looking for the big opportunities or the big chances to do something because you're never going to find that free time that you're desperately looking for. So find small bits of time instead. And it kind of goes with my whole thing about if you don't start it, it's not going to get done, right? Um, and, or the five, two, four, three, two, one. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one rule by Mel Gibbons or 
sorry, Mel Robbins. Whoa. Um, same idea. If you don't do it, it's not going to get done, right? So you just got to get up and go. And so look for it. Those little moments where you can do that. And that is what I have committed myself on doing is just being more aware of those little snippets of time where I could do something creative instead of waiting for an evening to do it. Okay, so that's good. And then um, read five affirmations from the week. And I actually write them out every morning now, but I will read them because I'm going over it again. So this is what I write on my morning pages in regards for the affirmations from the artist way. I am willing to experience my creative energy. I really like that. I really, really like that. I am willing to use my creative talents. There is a divine plan of goodness for me. I am willing to let myself curate and I'm willing to let the divine create through me. So again, this is something that I say or say well three times a day and write it out. So yay me. <laughs> All right. Um, the next one would be six. Oh, the five more imaginary jobs. And I remember I was kind of disappointed in myself last week when you had to do five imaginary jobs. And I came up with jobs that I really wanted to do. They weren't really imaginary. I wanted to do them and quite capable of doing and will do, right? So, but now I was trying to be a little bit more creative. And so I came up with, let's see. Um, <sighs> create opportunities to do some of the work or have the people around me that I want to be around, right? I want to be a, a laughing yoga instructor. And so I actually looked up places where I can get certified and looking into classes that I can take to be as a participant and learn, right? I want to be like a motivational speaker and I want to be a self-care educator and or a self-care coach, you know? the craft of wellness facilitator. Um, I want to have a web page that brings everyone together that, you know, all the different crafts of the wellness and all in one place that we can get to. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, I can't find where I put what else I want to do for my imaginative jobs. Oh, I know I added it. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot. That's why I can't find it. Let me go here. There we go. <laughs> See, you guys are like on this journey legitly with me in my head. <laughs> okay, so the five imaginary that I jobs that I had to add to my list already, again, would be an editor for publishing house or some kind of contract, you know, um, maybe even a ghostwriter. I've always wanted to do that. And I've actually done a couple editing things on the side. So, hey, I'm making that happen a little bit. I wanna be a professor. Um, not teaching children, love them, but no. <laughs> I want to um, educate adults. I want to be a laughing yoga instructor. Um, I want to be a, a trauma therapist or a sensory motor psychotherapist in particular, you know, using a lot of earthing therapeutic tools. Working in a bookstore, I think that would be so cool, but not like a Kohl's bookstore or chapters, but like a little little quaint little bookshop you know in an oceanfront town <laughs> something like that so that was my five imaginary jobs so yay me to that <laughs> sorry about the whole whoa didn't find it okay so now back to the rest of the task we're almost done for seven um basically wanted you to do like uh you know your pie circle there your wellness circle so break it down to um different categories and they had romance and exercise, spirituality, playing, friends and working. All right, that's how I broke it down. And this is how I kind of sum it up. You don't even need to see my circle. You're gonna just know by what I say. Are you ready? Okay. So romance is starving. Experiences, or wait, sorry. And I'm not gonna start this over again because you have no idea how many times I started over and we're almost done. So I'm just gonna keep going, sorry for the fumble. Okay, so this is my um, description of my wheel, okay? So the rom romance pie, romance is starving. Exercise is impoverished. Spirituality is thriving. Playing is growing. 
friends is developing. Working is succeeding. Oh, I love it. Okay, obviously I see some areas, but I am working on the exercise thing. I went for how many walks? I got, I think, four stickers last week. Yay me. So good. Okay. Um, and then we go to, what did I say here? Five minute drum. Oh, she says something about dancing to five minutes to drum music can put us in touch with our spiritual care. I like that. I haven't done that yet, but I'm actually going to do that. Maybe I'll film it. All right. Number eight task, 10 tiny changes. All right. And so I wrote down some of the things that I wanted. Um, this, these are just like not little big things, but just like I would like to start my self-care practice at 6 a.m. Monday to Friday. So I want it to always be consistent at 6. Um, I would like to do a laughing yoga class. I would like to take an art class. I would like to rearrange my closet. I would like to make more milk baths. I would like to wash my floors. I would like to start thinking about working and getting up, setting up the garden. I would like to get a new car without payments. <laughs> so those are like eight things that I have little tiny changes I would like in my life. And I had to pick one and I picked, believe it or not, washing my floors. <laughs> it's a goal, right? And it needed to be done. And wow, it's amazing what washing your floors can do. It's like changes the whole place. Not that it was that bad, but you know what I mean. Okay, um, so I was really excited about that, but I've also done other things to kind of support the little goals and life changes that I want in my life, like looking up different classes to take and, you know, just getting organized. So yay me. And then 10 was, um, what was the goal? And do it. Actually, 10 was actually do it. And so I did it. So yay me, I did week two and all of its tasks continuing with those three morning pages saying the affirmations and the basic principles we are now on week three and i will do an introduction and about that not today <laughs> but i will do it in the next couple of days so have a really great day i'm gonna go celebrate because i'm 49 today bye <laughs>